the nervous system. Hi, we are Laura, Alizar, Maria, and Patri. We went to talk to, to the Dr. Rodriguez. And he told us about the nervous system, normal working, its parts, and all of the illness that affect the nervous system. The nervous system consists of the brain, the spinal cord, the sensory organs, and all of the nerves. These organs are responsible for the control of the body and communication among, among its parts. The central nervous system is formed by the brain and the spinal cord. The CNS makes decisions and evaluates information. The peripheral nervous system is formed by the sensory nerves and sensory organs, and it monitors conditions inside and outside the body and sends this information to the CNS. The nerves are bundles of axons in the, in the peripheral nervous system that act as information highways to carry signal between and the brain and spinal cord and the rest of the body. The afferent nerves carry information from sensory receptors to the central nervous system. The efferent nerves carry signals only from the central nervous system to affectors such as muscles and glands. Then there are mixed nerves that function like two-way streets. It does what the efferent and efferent do, but it is just a nerve. The brain is located inside the cranial cavity where the bones of the skull surround and protect it. The approximately 100 billion neurons of the brain form the main control center of the body. The brain is the seat of higher mental functions such as consciousness, memory, planning and voluntary actions also controls lower body functions such as the maintenance of respiration, heart rate, blood pressure and digestion. The main parts of the brain are the cerebellum and the cerebrum. The spinal cord is a long thin mass of bundled neurons that carries information through the vertebral cavity of the spine beginning at the medulla. The spinal cord functions as the main conduit of nerves signals to the body from the brain. The green matter of the spinal cord integrates reflexes to stimuli. Sensory organs are the sense of vision, Taste, touch, hearing, and smell. Neurons, also known as nerve cells, communicate within the body by transmitting signals. There are three basic classes of neurons, afferent neurons, efferent neurons and interneurons. They do the same thing as the nerves, but the difference is that the nerves carry the signals and the neurons transmit them. The parts of the neuron are 
the nucleus the dendrites that pick up the stimuli from the environment other neurons or sensory receptor cells the axon that sends signals onward to other neurons or effector cells in the body the axon terminal connects one neuron to other and the cell body The autonomic nervous system includes all the involuntary efferent neurons. The one that includes the voluntary efferent uh, neurons is the somatic nervous system. The sympathetic uh, part of the ANS forms the body's response to express danger, exercise, emotion and embarrassment. It dilates the papils. The heart beats faster. It dilates the bronchial tube. And the gastric uh, juice are stopped, and the digestion program process is stopped. The parasympathetic force of the body responds when you're relaxed, uh, resting, or eating. It works to endo the work of the sympathetic division. It contracts the papils. The heart beats slower, it contracts the bronchial tubes and the gastric juice are faster and the digestion programs is stimulated. Alzheimer It's a progressive disorder in which the nerve cells of the brain are degenerated and the brain mass shrink. As we can see in the picture, Alzheimer causes dementia. The 75% of the dementia cases in people older than 65 years old are caused by Alzheimer. Most of the times, Alzheimer provokes a slow intellectual and personal damage over years and ends with the death. This disease attacks the part of the brain that controls the memory and the language. Parkinson. The Parkinson disease attacks nervous system, where it coordinates the activity, muscle tone, and movements. The symptoms are an important loss of neurons that control the movements and muscle tone. Their loss happen in the union between the brain and the spinal cord so the neurons which been in the black sustains in the parkinson disease a lot of neurons are lost and they don't produce a substance called dopamine this is an amino acid which can transmit information from a neuron group to another group through cheminan and electric mechanisms the symptoms are rigidity in arms, legs, and torso, temblor in hands and arms, face, jaw, and problems with the balance and the coordination. Ictus. We say that a ictus is shouldn't disorder of the cerebral circulation, which alter in the function of the certain region of the brain. There are disorders that have in common each shouldn't presentation with the usually affect to old people, but they can also young people. 
The ictus can take place so much for an important decrease of the blood flow that res resides a part of your brain of the hemorrhage caused by the break of the cerebral glass. The doctor will distinguish several main types of ictus. Embolic ictus. It is caused by a blood clot. It has formed far from the place of obstruction normally in the hair. Trambolic ictus. It is an ictus caused by a blood clot formed in the wall of an important artery, which blocks the, the step of a blood to part of the brain. Hemodynamical. The defect of blood contribution always of the scent in the blood pressure, for example, when a cardiac stop takes place. The end.